So at this point you should be familiar with the general applications for the microcontroller and generally how it works, some of the pin assignments, some of the applications, what some of the pins do and what are the capabilities of the microcontroller. You should also be familiar with what a programmer is. This is an example of one from SparkFun and this is another one from Adafruit Industries. And you should also know that a programmer is plugged in between the computer and the microcontroller. You should also have some convenient way to plug the programmer into the microcontroller routing the SPI pins, which are the six pins, to the microcontroller, the appropriate pins on the microcontroller. You should have also completed the installation of the drivers so Windows will recognize this device or this programmer. Now we need to establish the programming environment. The programming environment will allow you to write your programs in a way that it's easy for you to write them and then it will convert the programs into a readable format that the microcontroller can understand. We need to download a program called WinAVR, so I'm going to look that up on Google. And it should be the very first link. If it's not, the, uh, the link will be called winavr.sourceforge.net. So click that link. And you're going to go to the introduction or the home page of the WinAVR SourceForge area. Um, on that page, it will give you some information about the WinAVR project. Um, just click the SourceForge.net projects WinAVR link. And then you're going to click on View All Files. And select the WinAVR folder and you're going to select the latest release. In this case I'm selecting the 1-20-2010 and you can see it has considerable amount of downloads from the previous one. So click on that and we're going to select the WinAVR install executable file so just click on that and it will start to download. Click Save to invoke the download. Okay, now the download is complete. Go ahead and run the program. Press yes for the unknown publisher. Select your language, press OK. Uh, the wizard will start and go ahead and click on next. Agree to the licensing information if you agree with it. Um, and specify a location on your computer to install the, the program. By default it gives you, it, it puts it onto the root directory of your C colon or whatever your main uh, drive is. Install all of the components. Go ahead and click on finish and now the program is installed. So the file is downloaded and it's installed. Let's check where the files are located so you can easily get to them. You'll see that right when you press the start button, you'll see AVR Insight Win AVR. Um, also go into all programs and you'll also see if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's Win AVR and the release date. You can click on that and there's uh, several files for you to choose from could look a little bit overwhelming but there's really only one program you're going to be invoking. Uh, there's another one that you may be editing every now and then. Programmer's Notepad is your main program. The Programmer's Notepad is a user interface in which you will be writing the program. Uh, it's simply a uh, enhanced version of like a notepad program. And the difference between Notepad and Programmer's Notepad is that the information that you type into the Programmer's Notepad it will change colors of certain words that are notable for the language that you're going to be using. This will be your friend for this type of environment, the WinAVR environment. The M file is where you're going to change configuration settings for a make file. 
and a make file is used in the compilation process where the program gets converted into a readable file for the microcontroller and that will be in a .hex format. You're going to go into this file and specify certain parameters and configurations for the chip that you're going to be using because this environment for the most part it works with the AVR line of microcontrollers. So let's go ahead and click on programmer's notepad. You'll see that you have a window in the in the middle. This is going to be your programming space where you're going to be writing the programs. This is where you're going to spend most of your time. Uh, there's a results and output screen here on the bottom that will give you some important messages while you're, you're building of your application. The text clips in the left hand portion, there's several tabs on this portion of the user interface. And the first one is text clips, the next one is tags, and the last one is projects. The text clips is really interesting where you can show different types of uh, information to help you in the programming. Right now it's giving you the ASCII characters. This is American Standard Code for Information Interchange. This is a standard that's been around since the beginning of personal computers. And you'll see that there are different codes here or characters. It'll also give you ASP.NET standard commands. It'll give you C standard commands, HTML characters, Java blocks, which are very similar to the C. We're probably going to be staying with the C standard, which most of the stuff that we're going to be doing is in C. I'll be reviewing tags and projects in a later video, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Before we write our programs, we'll also want to change this option from plain text to C, C++. A quick review of the menu and under the file menu you're going to be using the save, uh, save as, save all is going to be used a lot because you're going to be um, working with multiple files at the same time most likely. Export probably won't be used, print you're probably not going to be using, uh, recent files you'll probably be using, um, open, open project. Under the edit you'll be using find quite a bit so be familiar with that. Under view uh, folding is really a good good tool because you'll be able to fold out a lot of the long routines or functions within the programming. This will be your friend too, the make all make clean program. This is going to transfer the program into the microcontroller with help from AVR Dude and of course the drivers that you install to recognize the, the programmer. And that's about it. We'll start getting into the nuts and bolts of programming very soon.